Hey guys, welcome. It's Matt Johnson. And today I want to take you through a restorative exercise routine. And the reason why is I think the biggest opportunity most of us have in our exercise routines is to add some restorative movements. Now, when we beat our body up with just maybe work or driving or texting or life, your kids just going through life with gravity beating us up, restorative exercises are essential to feel better. So I'm going to take you through a group of ex restorative exercises that I think really can make you feel good after our time together. So we're just going to start by warming up the neck and we're going to rotate to the left, rotate to the right. And I find a lot of people struggle with neck issues. Big part of it is we're on our computers, we're texting, our neck is kind of going forward. And all we're doing is warming up, stretching, activating, our neck muscles and as we go through this routine I want you to listen to your body what's tight what's loose what has a little bit of pain and go at your own pace okay we're gonna rotate left to right I want you to breathe I think a lot of people think exercise I have to sweat I have to feel it in my lungs, my muscles. Movement, there's many different ways to move. And when you can move where the body feels better, I think that's the goal. Okay, we're gonna come up on our knees. What I want us to do here is we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna take them straight up overhead into this extension and then back down. So we're warming up our back. And today we're going to be all on the ground. Breathe. All right, I want you to grab your right ankle. So you're going to grab your right ankle and we're going to reach up overhead with our left arm. And if you're close to the wall, maybe you're touching the back wall. Hips come forward, a deep breath, keep those hips neutral, come up and breathe. Switch sides, we're going to grab the left ankle, right arm goes up overhead, hips come forward, stretching, reaching. If you want a little more advanced, you grab both ankles, hips come forward, chest elevates, arch your neck. Breathe, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna warm up the wrists, and I think the wrists are something that, well, I don't know if I have a wrist issue. Well, we're gonna take you through a little routine here. We're gonna start with our hands about shoulder width, right under our shoulders. And we're gonna start with um, our wrists going in the same direction, rotating inward. We're gonna see how far we can rotate them. Nice and slow, little bits of movement. So this is about as far as I can go. I'm just gonna hold this, breathe. Typing, texting, doing anything. We're using our wrists, we're using our hands. So now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Carpal tunnel tightness. Can you get to this position? Maybe one, you'll find one side's tighter than the other. Maybe you had surgery or something on an injury. Three, two, one. Okay, go slow here. We're going to flip our palm over. We're going to start with our left hand first. Can you put pressure on this left wrist? Saying, Matt, that, you know, that bothers me. Well, let us just go back and forth. Here's the goal. Can we switch and do both sides? Wow. You know, when I first started doing this, this was challenging for me. This, is, this feels good. feels restorative. Once I'm here, I can even start to do some rotation. And again, start slow. This bothers a lot of people because we haven't been in that position. We spend so much time with our palms down 
in that flexion position. And this is extension. So nice and easy, warming up the wrists. Okay, so now we're gonna do the ankles. I want you to drop down here. Your knees will be together. Your heels won't quite be together, but I want your toes together. And I sprained my left ankle uh, several times and I find my left ankle wants to bow out. And so I'm trying to pull it in. And we're on, our, we're on our knees, we're on our ankles. And if you look from the side angle here, you'll see that I'm pretty flat towards the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on our hands. I'm just gonna elevate my knees. Pulse for four, two, three, four. Do a couple rotations, circles. Other side. Back down and breathe. Now I'm going to spread my knees about fist, a fist in between my knees, fist in between my ankles. Same thing. Elevate for four. Rotate. Other way. And breathe. Last one here. We're going to go two fists. Sit back. Let's just start right here. Rock side to side. What do you feel? Maybe you need to take a break. Pause the video. Come back into it. Hands. Up. Rotate, switch sides, release. Okay, now we're gonna tuck our toes under into this flexion position. It's called dorsal flexion. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get our knees together, toes together, same thing. And if you look at from the side, you see I'm now on my toes. We're gonna come up for four, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, tightness in your calves, shin splints, rotate, other side, a fist, same thing. Can we come back? Can we get into that full stretch? I'm feeling this in my feet, my toes. I come up and down. Okay, I'm gonna come out just a little bit here. Still on my toes. And I'm gonna come as far back as I can. And I'm gonna get a little bit away from the wall here. And I'm gonna see where I can go. I can't quite get to my heels. If you can get to your heels, that's great. It means you got good flexibility in your ankles. And I'm just gonna come down, back up. A lot of people, their feet bother them. Are you activating your toes? Are you stretching your ankles? Last one. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna drop down on the floor. We're just gonna get into this extension position. I'm gonna be up on my elbows. My toes are kind of kicked out. My butt's loose. I'm just gonna kind of shake out my core. Let that back start to relax. We spend so much time in flexion. I want you to think about how do you feel right now? You're not doing exercise right now to kind of kill yourself. You're doing exercise or movement to feel good. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to a Sphinx with a half frog. And so what you're doing here is you're trying to get your knee 90 degrees straight out to the side. My right foot ankle is directly underneath my knee. Release that left glute. So sometimes the tendency is to squeeze that left glute, release that left glute, stretching out the hips. I want you to take a deep inhale, five seconds. Strong exhale for six. OK, 
Okay, kick that right leg back. Find the middle. Let's do the left, half frog. So my right knee, 90. Ankle right underneath my knee. Release that right glute this time. Inhale for five. Exhale for six. Okay, we're gonna come back into child's pose. So whether you wanna do knees together, I like my knees about two fists apart, taking my arms straight out in front. This bothers your knees and you need more padding. Give yourself more padding. Slide your hands to the right. Slide your hands to the left. Now when we think of tightness for many people, it, it stems in their hips, their neck, their back. And so what I want you to do here is I want you to get your knee on the ground. And if you need some more padding or a pillow, and I'm gonna put my toe on the wall, and then I'm gonna try to get my foot about a foot and a half away from my other knee 90 degrees. Now I'm stretching this right hip flexor quadricep. And to make it a little more challenging, I'm gonna take my hands up overhead. Really a nice stretch. The further I move my knee towards the wall, the harder this is. And I want you just to find a middle point, nothing too strenuous, feels good. It's kind of releasing that tightness in my hips. And most of the tightness in our hips stems from a tight quadricep. You can extend forward, push back. And again, you need some padding under the knee. Switch sides. So maybe see how close you can get to the wall. I'm a little closer on this side now. Ooh, feels good. Playing a golf tournament this weekend. Pickleball. Quadricep gets tight. And that leads to a tight back. Three, two, one. All right, before we get on our back, we're gonna do a cat cow. I want your toes underneath, hands a little wider than shoulder width. We're gonna round our spine tuck her chin, and then we drop our middle back. Gaze starts to go to the ceiling. So we got cat and cow. How do you feel? Feel longer, more relaxed? Where do you still have tightness? Three, Last one. All right, flip over on your back. This is the fun part. We're going to get our butt about a foot from the wall. From here, I want you to cross your right leg and your right foot and ankle is on your left knee. Ideally, if you're looking from the side here, you'll see that my lower back is touching the floor. If we're too close to the wall, that lower back's gonna be above the, the ground. If you're not feeling the stretch at all, you're too far from the floor, or from the wall. We're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. If you wanna put a little tension on your right knee, pushing it towards the wall, and then release. I just want you to get in a nice, calm spot. Start working on your breath. Even inhale, exhale. You can even close your eyes. I'll guide you through the movements. You can 
three, two, one. Now I want you to take your leg and cross it over even a little bit more. This is stretching your psoas. And you can pull your right ankle down with your left hand. The closer you move to the wall, the more this is stretching. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the opposite leg. I find this side is the most tight for me. So already I feel that tightness, that tenderness. I'm gonna push for five. Rock side to side, see where it is even a little bit more tender. Push for three, three, two, one. Cross it over. Now I was, I played college golf and one of our guest speakers once was the first basketball scholarship athlete at Grand Valley State and he was a world renowned yoga instructor. The first thing he taught us was elevating our feet. So what I want you to do here is get your rear end closer to the wall. I'm gonna take my legs straight up, slight knee bend. I'm just gonna flex my toes, extend my toes so we're Flexing, extending. And now we're taking that circulation and we're really taking it towards the heart. Away from our feet. Some rotations. You ever feel like your legs are just heavy, you get some aches and pains? Elevate your feet. Hold for 10 more seconds. If you want a little more back stretch, you can take your arms overhead. Breathe into it. If that bothers your back, maybe you go to a Y. Maybe your shoulders. Maybe just one arm. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into an L. We're gonna take our right leg, take it straight down to the ground as close as we can. Let it fall. We're just holding here. If you want to rotate your neck opposite, breathe. Three, two, one. Take your left leg down. Left arm goes the opposite. Your neck rotates opposite. Let that midsection relax. Come across, breathe, and then we come back, stretch. Okay, let's take our legs straight up. Now think about how you feel. Do you feel relaxed? restored, re-energize, take our left leg down, now we got an L going in the opposite direction, now that other side I felt it more in my left hip because like I said my left hip is a little more tight on the outside, rotate your neck, Take your right leg down, hold, come across, come back. Okay, take your feet up. 20 more seconds here. We're gonna end 
with some breathing. My legs feel lighter, looser. Okay, let's spin around. I'm gonna get on my back here. I'm gonna take my feet out. If you wanna keep your knees bent, that's fine. I'm gonna start with my palms up. I'm gonna take an inhale through my nose, four seconds. Hold for seven. Exhale for eight. So we're going inhale for four. Hold for seven. Exhale, eight. Get in that rhythm on your own. Let your limbs just fall to the ground. Let your neck and your back melt into the mat. I give you one minute for just yourself. Use it. Breathe. Inhale for four. Hold for seven. Last breath, let's inhale for six. Through our nose. Blow out eight through our mouth. Stay here as long as you want. Thanks for joining us. We hope you feel restored, refreshed. And remember, the biggest opportunity we have in our exercise is to add some recovery. We'll see you again next time.